You said that's not Ruby Rose? It is. Yeah, like, my thing was, I'm not dissing all you Timu and Panda by niggas. What I'm saying is, the energy it takes to get all that shit, I just personally don't give a fuck enough to do it. They cut off the picture, too. There's actually a picture that shows more of her stomach. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. There it is. See how they tried to crop her lower half? On the other shit. So Drewski and Drewski and uh, Ruby Rose, that's been a thing on media today as far as like what's going on. Everybody's clowning, everybody's talking that shit. Because, you know, Ruby Rose trying to come off like she a super duper bad bitch and untouchable. No nigga could fuck. I'm a boss ass bitch. Uh, had that nigga on her knees. Uh, had that nigga sucking a dildo if I want him to. Burking if I ask. All that type of shit, right? <laughs> nigga, I'm over exaggerating because... Female rappers always try to act like they're like unfuckable. That's why I said that. Cause they be trying to act like female rappers try to act like niggas are just like, they'll do niggas will do anything they say. Like they just ain't, I, I have a nigga eating. I have a nigga eating my shit glizzy in a bun. Like you said, this pic gotta be fake. It's not. I never knew Ruby Rose had that amount of no titties. I never knew. I'm telling you, these female rappers do be acting like they could get niggas to eat shit glizzies. You gonna tell me that there's not men out there that, that would eat a shit glizzy from Ruby Rose? There's niggas out there that will. <laughs> you said I'm tweaking? No. There's probably somebody in this chat right now that would eat a shit glizzy. From Ruby Rose. They just not talking. They silent. That's that's not Ash is uh, saying because they at the beach. Yeah, so this shit been going viral with Ruby Rose and uh, Drewski. Is it a dub for Drewski? No. I guess as far as like dating clout notoriety. On that aspect, yeah, because you would have expected a fat nigga to pop out with Ruby Rose. You know, she tried to act like she only fuck with rappers, this and that. But Drewski got a lot of clout. You know, he, you know, he got commercials, um, endorsements, shows, cool with Drake, cool with cool with this guy, cool with that guy. You know, he's he's lit in the industry. So, I mean, I can see why she would fuck with him. But at the same time, it's like, don't tell me that she really fucked Lil Tyler. That's got to be a joke. They had to have just thrown that nigga in there for fun. Look, I could say I believe everybody else on this list, but I don't believe she served Lil Tyler. I'm sorry. I'm not buying that one. I'll take, I'll believe that she fucked every last nigga on this list, but I'm not going to believe that she was riding Lil Tyler's dick. That would be damn near statutory, bro. I don't give a fuck if little Tyler 18, 19 now or what. No, nah, no, nah, that's not act. That's uh, what's his name? Mike Will made it. So I can't even name some of these niggas. I'm gonna I'm gonna name the niggas I know. All right, uh, Cardi, Trippy, Uzi, YG, Travis, ASAP, Twenty One, Thug. Uh, take off, quit. Oh, the whole fucking Migos allegedly. Um, Lil TJ, NLE, ASAP Bari, um, DDG. He's infamously known for wifing her. Six nine. 
who else we got here? So you, you telling me that she fucked L.A. Reid? L.A. Reid, I think, passed away. Let me see. I think he's dead. Yeah, he died. Wait, hold on. Nah, he's alive. Wait, so she fucked L.A. Reid? Bro, everybody knows that DDG was like low-key wife in Ruby Rose. She served YK Osiris. I definitely believe that she fucked French Montana. The niggas I'll say for a fact, I know she fucked. Like, come on. Like, you, you know, just looking at the list, you know for a fact who she fucked. Would I tap Ruby Rose after Drewski's fucking her? Nah. I mean, come on now. Look. I hate to Google this shit. Hold on. Let's go ahead and put this in the thing. We got a new new person to watch. Now, I hate to Google this type of shit, guys. But unfortunately, um, I have to. Give me a sec. Wait, where's the light on my shit? Bruce Drewski farting on Kai's stream. Then the nigga was fanning it off in Kai's direction. So nah, to me, Ruby Rose is completely unfuckable now after fucking with um with Drewski. He proved he's just a, a fat, sloppy nigga that just happens to have notoriety, clout, and fame. It's just that simple. Guys, don't think that there's not like famous fucking celebrity women that walk around that don't have stinking ass pussies. These people are just human beings just like us. Just like Drewski is a fat, sloppy ass nigga that's farting on streams and, and come on now. Nigga don't get an exception. So no, Ruby Rose is completely unfuckable now. Like Drewski? You know, we all think Drewski is funny to an extent on some of his skits and shit like that, but come on now, Drewski. It's completely a no, a hundred percent no go. Ruby Rose is no longer desirable at all. Sir, sometimes when a chick fucks with a with a caliber of dude, it just lowers her sexy and everything. So if you could fuck, if you could fuck with a fat sloppy nigga that's farting and shit like that, there's no way that you could even be deemed desirable ever again. So you'll never hear me mention Ruby Rose. I won't bookmark any more of her pics. I won't talk about it on stream. I don't give a fuck how she busted open. Sex appeal is a hundred percent, a thousand percent gone. And before some people said, so hold on, LTG, you said it. So when she fucked the other nigga, she was still desirable. It's about this. It's as simple as this. I'll break it down for you. Just in case there's niggas in here that have these type of questions. I'll break it down for you. So put it like this, guys. When you see a bad bitch that you thought was sexy, and then she just pop up with a lame ass nigga as her boyfriend. I don't know. For me, it just makes her less desirable because I consider myself a complete package. So I'm like, hold on. You looking like that and you let the caliber of that nigga fuck? I'll never look at you again the same. Yeah, your aura disappears. Because if you're willing to if you're if you're willing to lower your your standards when I a pe when I put you on a pedestal of being like a certain type of chick and I see the quality of nigga you fuck with, to me, instantly it lowers anything about you. It kills your aura. I'll never look at your ass again. I'll never look at your ass again. Um, yeah, you know, props to Drewski for bagging her or whatever like that. But, I mean, is it really a bag? It's more so like he fucking his first famous name that we know about. Nah, I fuck with Drewski. I like his shit, but I'm saying like, what it does is we all thought, it's just like, put it like this. I'll give you a good example. If Ice Spice right now started fucking with Drewski, how many of you niggas would still think she hot fire?
You see what I'm saying? That's basically what I mean is like, it's not that I don't fuck with Drewski. You guys know I fuck with Drewski. You watch his shit. I'm laughing at his skits, all that. But I'm saying when a chick that deems herself bad as fuck fucks with a certain quality or caliber of a nigga, it lowers her sexy and makes her no longer desirable. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying because there's no nigga on this list that looks like Drewski. There's no nigga on this list that has a has a appeal or, or an aura of Drewski, a fat, sloppy nigga that's farting on streams and shit. That's all I'm saying. You said Ice Spice is not desirable. I mean, that's arguable. I'm just using her because she's desirable to the huge, to a huge like demographics of men. So who Ice Spice pops out with in public is going to be very important for her career, which is why you don't see her pop out with no nigga yet. The first guy Ice Spice pops out with has to strategically make sense. It has to be the perfect PR move. The guy has got to make sense. If she pops out, if Ice Spice was to pop out with Drewski, I'm telling you, it would destroy her aura. Would our wife a chick in the industry? Depends on how deep I was in the industry. For the most part, I wouldn't look for that. But it gets to a level where you can't fuck with a regular bitch no more. Like... If I wasn't fucking with the bitch before the fame, why would I fuck with her after the fame knowing that I'm getting used? At least if I'm fucking with a celebrity bitch, I know that we're both in it for something. You're rich, you're, you know, you're rich, I'm rich, I'm known, you're known. Like, it's really no L there. Like, we both using each other at that point. It might be a way for her to stay relevant. I mean, chicks always figure out a way. It's not like she drops music on a regular and shit like that. So, I get it. If she popped out with Uzi, Uzi's Uzi, bro. Regardless of what you niggas think. I don't even think Uzi's a gay guy. I'm going to keep it 100%. To me, regardless of what Uzi's doing, I just don't think he's gay. I think the nigga just like, I think he's a, a asexual prince type of nigga. I don't think he's gay. I think that nigga got bored of pussy, just turned asexual and just doing some prince shit. Personally, I don't think the nigga's gay. Like, regardless of what we're seeing Uzi do on stage, I don't think that nigga's gay. And I, I will I will literally I will literally vouch for that shit. I don't think Uzi's a gay man. I really don't. I just feel like that nigga just when bro, when Uzi first came out, he always had that like zest about him. But he was known for fucking with bitches and being in relationships with bitches and shit like that. Uzi been like that, bro. Now was it to the now was it to this caliber? No, but Uzi been like a you know what I'm saying? He been slightly flamboyant, but a straight dude. He just like a rapper, but he's like Prince. Bro, Prince used to be wearing fucking suits with his ass cheeks out the back and shit like that. None of us ever thought Prince was gay. Prince always had bitches. Uzi's the same fucking way. Now, Cardi, that's a different story. That nigga just started doing this type of shit. You can't just be like some goon at first, some ATL goon, and then just start. You, nigga, you should have just came out the woodwork slightly zesty. And then we would have gave you the Prince Pass like Uzi, bro. I don't think Uzi's gay, though. So when you guys are asking me to, to fucking react to Uzi doing all that shit on stage, I'm still not going to think the man's gay. So now the shit that Cardi's doing, that's a different story. That I can't be convinced um, yeah, that one I'm not buying. The Uzi shit? Nah, Uzi not gay. <laughs>